Hey guys, Oblivion here, coming at you with a deck profile on my Lumeria, on my Lumeria Frog deck. Um, before I want, before I get into the deck profile, I want to say thank you to Team APS. Uh, he allowed me to be on his channel. Uh, Matt, thank you so much for letting me be on your channel, man. Uh, I checked out your stuff, and he has really great content, guys. Um, you know, pretty great content, great, great content. Thank you so much for letting me be on. I mean, I'm actually very honored. And, um, yeah, man, sorry if I'm kissing ass too much, but whatever. Um, yeah, guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Oblivion. He, um, I do a lot of deck profiles on YouTube. I'm pretty sure my link will be somewhere here or in the description down below, whatever. Um, me and Team APS are going to be doing a video swap. So he's going to have a video on my channel. I'm going to have a video on his channel. You guys don't know how it works. Uh, yeah, guys, well, this is the type of quirky decks that I run. I run, um, you know, fun decks but as well as competitive decks you know but mostly fun decks if you go on my profile you'll be seeing a lot of fun duels a lot of fun deck profiles i stream every tuesday with uh, my friend infected xenon if you guys don't know him um and yeah guys thank you guys so much and if you guys have the time please check out my my you know my channel and like great comment and subscribe you know and as well uh, don't forget to do it for team aps thank you man and anyways guys let me just get to the deck profile i'm running three swap frogs Three dupe frogs, two Rowan Toten. Now this could be argu arguably run at one or two. I prefer it at two because he spam out gotchas like crazy. Two Tragodias, three Nimble Angler. He is the main boss monster of the deck. Three uh, Nimble Sunfish, three Nimble Manta, one. I'm sorry, three Tidal Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. Uh, this is just a little thing that I threw in in here, and it's been working great. And two Steam. For the spells, I'm running three Lemuria. It's your key piece, being honest. Two Maria of Greed, two Salvage, three MST, two Creature Swap, one Heavy, one Dark Hole, one uh, Monster Reborn, and one Pot of Avarice. And yeah, guys. Now, let me explain how the deck works, and then I'll go into the extra deck. Your main card of the deck is Nimble Angler. Nibble Angular's effect is, if this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon up to two level 3 or lower Nimble Monsters from your deck except Nimble Angular. And, you know, you would get the Nimble Sunfish or the Nimble Manta. I usually go for the Nimble Manta because its effect is uh, <laughs> pretty useless. Um, I mean, Nimble Sunfish is a lot better. And, I mean, I, I love these guys because they're level 2, they have great synergy with the frogs. I'm running the Frog Engine because, first of all, Swap. If you guys don't know what Swap, you can special summon it by discarding a water type monster uh, and yeah you could special summon by discarding a water type monster so that right here makes Nimble Angler live if you draw into it uh, and then you would usually want to go and dump the Rodin and then just go for a gotcha gotcha or swarm the field with Lemuria uh, I'm running 3 dupe because it searches out the swap frog immensely and it, again it's another aqua target and you keep your opponent in a, a dupe block 2 try because of the great level manipulation that it has uh, and I'm also running the Steam, uh, the title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls because it's a great card in the deck. It's so good. It triggers Nimble Angler. Um, its effect is basically, uh, you can special summon it as you guys already know. I'm pretty sure you guys know what the Dragon Rulers do. But if you guys don't, uh, again, it's a level 7. That's another plus to it. Basically, you can discard this card and one water monster to the graveyard and send one monster from your deck to the to. Sorry about that, guys. Someone came in my room. I know that's extremely rude of me. I'm very sorry about that. So, as I was saying, title triggers Nimble Angler, and then your place can go off and whatnot. And as well, you could banish to have a level 7, 2600 beater on the field. And I'm running two steam as well because you could uh, ditch the steam and ditch the, ang the angler, and you know you get the title plus the two nimbles, which is great. Now, the key card of the deck is Nimble Angler. Those are for the monsters, basically. Oh, by the way, since I'm running the Swap Frog, you're basically running like a 20-something card deck, guys. If not even, because seriously, this deck thins so much. You guys have no idea how much this deck thins. Like, you could run the five pieces of Exodia and you'll probably get it. That's how much a deck thins. <laughs> um, and that's me a little bit exaggerating, but that's basically how much. Because of the Swap, you know, it, you thin so much, as well as the Anglers and whatnot um again so lemuria lemuria's effect is it gets treated as yumi so all water monsters gain 200 attack and defense once per turn during your main phase you can have all water monsters you currently control gain a level equal to the number of water monsters you currently control until the end phase 
Now, uh, for the people that think that this might be a little bit confusing, that's fine. Basically, what this is saying is, let's say you had you ditch the swap for the angler. Uh, you ditch, I'm sorry, you ditch the angler for the swap effect. You special summon the swap. Go for the rodent totem. You ditch the rodent totem, assuming that you already have like a dupe in the grave or something. Um, and then you special out your two nimbles. So that right there, you have three monsters on board. Okay. Now, let's say uh, you go and you banish for the rodent totem. Special summoning the rodent totem. Now you have four monsters on board. Four aqua type monsters on board. So, you could activate Lumeria's effect there to have all monsters you control gain four levels. That's basically what it's saying. So, all your monsters on the board become level seven. Because five, six. Bullshit, bullshit. Sorry, guys. Level sixes. I don't know how to count. <laughs> they become level sixes, allowing you to go into bouncers and whatnot. You know, uh, you know, it's, it's a great, 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 great thing. I fucking love it. Uh, honestly, to be completely honest with you guys, I barely go into Bouncer. I usually go into Rank 2s uh, and Rank 5s and Rank 7s. Those are usually the ones I mostly go because this deck swarms the field so much. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys could take an Obelisk and drop it every deal. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm running the Moray of Greed just so in case you draw like the Manta or whatever. You don't draw your Swap Frog. You could always put the Manta back and then you know hopefully draw the Angler and the Swap. Um, oh, I think I should clarify this, guys. Swap... You can't send Angler with Swap Effect because it's a fish, it's not an Aqua. And yeah, guys, you're running the Salvage to recycle your Anglers uh, and your Swap Frogs, and you're running the Avarus. So um, now that I think about it, I should really run a Foolish Burial to send the Angler to the deck from the deck to the grave, and I might be doing that. So uh, for the extra deck, I'm sorry, guys, I've been kind of talking. Um, three Gachi Gachis, two Digusto Phoenix, one number 96 Dark Mist. One Abyss Dweller, one number 39 Utopia, and one Maestro of the Symphony Vision. For the rank fives, I'm playing one number 61 Volcanosaurus, one Tyrius the Keeper of Genesis, one Wind Up Arsenals and Mayo. Uh, for the rank sixes, I am playing one Photon Strike Bouncer. And for the rank sevens, I'm playing one Mega Phantom Beast Strike Sack, and one number 11 Big Eye, and one Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger. So yeah, guys, that's the deck for you. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the deck profile. Again, I want to say thank you to Team AAPS. Um, thank you, man, so much for allowing me to be on your channel. And if you guys have time, come and check out my channel, and maybe you'll like it and whatnot. So anyways, guys, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe on his videos. And yeah, guys, catch you guys later. Deuces.